okay now what is ship reduce conflict we say that we cannot introduce ship reduce conflict during the shrink process for the creation of the state of lalr parcel assume that we can introduce ship reduce conflict in the case the sorry a state of lalr parser must have a to alpha dot comma no a as look ahead and b to beta dot a gamma and b as look ahead this means that a state of canonical lalr on parser must have a dot you know alpha sorry a to alpha dot a and b to beta dot e gamma so what is the thing you can notice here that uh, look ahead of one production rule is appearing at after dot of other production rule if this condition you know is going to be true then it is only going to introduce ship reduce conflict in the merging process but this state has also a ship reduce conflict that is the original canonical lar parser has a conflict so this only happen when the original lar parser is also having a similar conflict reason for this the ship to operation does not depend on the look ahead right ship to operations are independent of look ahead look ahead is are only affecting the reduce operations okay so reduce reduce conflict if you see but we may introduce a reduce reduce conflict during the shrink process of the creation of states of lalr parser if you see look at here a to alpha dot you know look at a and b to beta dot look at is b and another item that you have it is a to alpha dot b as look ahead and b to beta dot c as look ahead now here you can see this look ahead and this look ahead are common okay so when you will merge these you know these and this we as their core item this is this is called core item are same what will happen a to alpha dot a b and b to beta dot b c will be the position in i want to now when you will generate the you know Uh, parse table there will be i one two you know one state row where for b when you will reduce uh, this this is going to give you r1 and this reduction is going to give you r2 and both of them are supposed to be entered in this b column okay so r1 and r2 both will come here so here it will be a uh, reduce reduce conflict so here is the example of reduce reduce conflict uh, you know so i'm not uh, going to detail up this example so now yes what about using ambiguous grammars for this all grammars used in the construction of lr parsing table must be unambiguous so it is saying that all the grammar in lr parsing table must be unambiguous okay can we create lr parsing table for ambiguous grammar yes but they will have conflicts okay so one of the reason we found here behind the conflicts is ambiguity okay we can resolve these conflicts in favor of one of them to disambiguate the grammar so we have we have studied a lots about disambiguity right how to remove ambiguity that we have to do now at the end we will have again an unambiguous grammar right so if you remove if you are going to remove the ambiguity then definitely the grammar is going to be unambiguous so why we want to use an ambiguous grammar because some of the ambiguous grammars are much natural okay and corresponding unambiguous grammars can be very complex okay so it is always not so easy to convert a ambiguous grammar to to a non ambiguous grammar so use of an ambiguous grammar may eliminate unnecessary reductions okay so and so they will keep your table small also okay so like if you look at this ambiguous grammar okay and it can be converted to this okay and if you go ahead with this grammar you have to do all this kind of uh, you know item set production
okay so here you can see a uh, slr person table for ambiguous grammar you can see here uh, and there is i think uh, no conflict visible here okay so error recovery in lr parsing you can see an lr parsing will detect an error when it consults the parsing action table and finds an error entry right so all in all empty entries in the action table are error entries errors are never detected by consulting the go to table so in the go to part you know uh, it is um, not going to detect any error okay an lr parser will announce error as soon as there is no valid construction for scan portion of the info a canonical lr parser lr1 parser say will never make even a single reduction before announcing an error so this is a good thing then the slr and lr parser may make several reduction before announcing an error but all lr parser like you know lr1 lr is a parser will never shift an erroneous input symbol onto the stack that is another assurance so these are the very various reasons why you know lr parsers are paper over ll parsers okay next panic mode recovery in lr parsing scan down the stack until a state is with go to on a particular non terminal a is found okay get rid of everything from the stack before this state is discard zero or more input symbols until a symbol a is found that can legitimately follow a okay so the symbol is a simply follow a but this may not work for all situations the parser stack the non terminal a and the state uh, go to s a and it uh, resumes the normal parsing this non terminal a is normally is a basic programming block there can be more than one choice of a okay statement expression block and etc so then parserable recovery in ll sorry in lr parsing each empty entry in the action table is marked with specific error routine okay so that uh, you know still now we was uh, saying that the each of the empty entry are errors but in error recovery we have to say what to do what is the action if our you know the parsing uh, technique reaches to this empty cells so the, it, uh, it now it is going to be uh, in a specific Uh, marked with some specific error routine that means some uh, piece of code which will you uh, know say what to do now an error routine re replaces the error that the user most likely will make in this in that case so an error routine inserts the symbols into the stack or the input or it deletes some symbols from the stack and the input or it can do both insertion and deletion okay missing operand then um, unbalanced right parenthesis all these thing can